In this video, we will cover grids. Grids can be used to expand the amount of items available on the pause screen or to step the operator through a menu selection. You may have recalled in one of our earlier video series that on the sales screen, if I wanted to sell an item such as a steak, so if I select this eye fillet, it will step me through the cook type for that steak. This is a grid, so select medium. Or in another example, if I navigate to my retail tab, I have various categories of items I sell in my retail department. If I select electrical, it will bring up a grid containing additional products that I sell in my database. So we'll just go ahead, void the sale, and close out of this window. To create grids or to edit grids, simply navigate to your setup menu, pause screen, and grids. And here you will have a list of all the various grids you have configured. To add a new grid, simply click the add button. To edit an existing grid, simply select the grid and then select modify. So you can see here I'll select cook type for my meat and I'll modify that by selecting items. This will bring up your pause screen layer in an editable state, very similar to the pause screen layout video tutorial we did earlier. So again, simply drag and drop items from this window down to the grid. Once grids are configured, you will now need to create button functions to map that grid to your main layout. To do that, navigate back to your pause screen setup by going setup, pause screen, pause screen setup. Edit your screen layout by selecting buttons. Navigate to your button that you wish to link an item to a grid. So in that earlier example, the eye fillet. So we'll select the eye fillet and you'll see under the settings for that eye fillet stock item button function, there is a pause screen grid map. From here, simply drop down the box and select the grid you wish that eye fillet to go across to. If I go back to my retail department and select electrical, you'll notice that this is not an item that you are selling, you are simply creating a button that will map to a grid. To do that, simply select the pause screen grid button function. And then you'll be presented with a pause screen grid dropdown box where you can select what grid you like it linked to, simply hit save. That concludes this short demonstration on how to create and add grids and how to link them to your pause screen layout.